OMG, what? Follow it. OMG, who? Follow it. OMG, yeah. Follow it. Who that be here? That be me. Follow it. What's up? OMG, follow it. Gang, 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 gang. What's going on out there in YouTube? Where are they, baby? Well, today, y'all, you see I'm in the kitchen. <clears throat> so, I am going to do something a little bit different today. I am going to do some Cornish hens. Let me get a thumbnail. Okay, all right, we're gonna use that. So today we're gonna do Cornish hens. And before we get started on everything that you need, I want to say thank you to the mothers, the fathers, uncles, aunties, grandparents, anybody that's taking care of kids that, that are yours or maybe that are not yours, whether you're mentoring and anything that you are doing that's in a kid life to be positive. I just want to thank you. I want to tell you I admire you. I appreciate you. And I thank you so much for all that you do. And as y'all know, I am working from home. So... I need to get started because this is my lunch. So I want y'all to first put your stove on 375. That'd be the first thing you do. And when you put your stove on 375, let it go and get hot. So when you put it in there, you don't have to worry about all those extra minutes on the stove getting hot plus counting all that. So just go and get your stove hot. That's what's up. We're going to take these chicken. We have four of them. And we're going to go ahead and rinse them. And... um. Clean them and rinse them off, and then I'm gonna tell you everything that you need to have in to season this chicken with. So let me just turn you over here. How y'all doing out there? How y'all day going? I'm just gonna cut these all up. Well, just open them up. I'm not gonna cut them up. You can butterfly these if you want to. You don't have to leave these whole, but I'm going to leave them whole today. I'm not going to butterfly them. Okay. I don't want to contaminate that by laying that there. Let me get a little bowl here and put me some cold water. You want to rinse with cold water? This is a poultry. Okay, we're going to just let that sit right on in there. I tell you one little thing. They pack these little chickens up in this little package, baby, and they have good and tight, too. Turn that off. So I probably should have had pre-cut this a little bit to make this go fast because I really don't <clears throat> want this to be a very, very long video for y'all. I just want to get this in and get back on this clock and then show y'all how this is. <clears throat> and I haven't cooked Cornish hens in a minute, so we're going to make this happen today, though. <clears throat> Need to make me some hot lemon tea. Okay. All right. Let's get this out of the way so we can rinse this off and get started because we might need these scissors here. And we have to cut extra stuff out of it. <coughs> Y'all, excuse me. I'm still having a little sinus drainage, but it's not as bad since I got the humidifier. Okay, we're going to see chicken number one now. 
We want to get down in here in the, in the whole part. Clean all down there. Clean all around the top and everything. Rinse it off. That's chicken number two. Get all down up in here. Chicken number three. And one more for the roll. This one here got a couple of little feathers on it. <clears throat> but that's all right now. Okay. Now that we have our chicken, our, um, our, our Cornish hens right here, we are going to get ready to season this, okay? So I want y'all to see everything that I'm doing. Let me change my lighting over here a little bit. All right. Okay, y'all. So what you're going to need is a pan. Use your cooking pan your way how you want to do it. Okay. So what you're going to need to season it with, you're going to need some olive oil, number one. You're going to need some minced garlic, or you can use fresh garlic. We're going to use a little bit of dill seasoning. We're going to use Larry seasoning salt. We're going to need some paprika. We're going to need onion powder. You know this. And we're going to need some garlic powder. You know this. We're going to need a little kanyanyanya for a little kick. Not nothing too much to burn you. And we're gonna need some black pepper along with some parsley and a little red wine vinegar. Okay, y'all, that's what I'm talking about. So I don't have anything extra to like these little. Let me move this pan out the way and bring this down to y'all so y'all can see what I'm doing. I'm not really cutting much off of this, but I don't really like the hanging fat here. So I'm just going to clip that little extra and it's going to be on all four of them. I know because I, I don't like that. I don't like the extra skin. I do it on my whole chicken too. Cut that right there. Won't take you a second to prep it. See, it's not a piece. It's not that bad over here. But we're going to clip it before we season it. Just get that little fat around there. You can leave yours on if you want to. I just choose not to. Okay. And then we'll be done with the prep work as far as what we have to do cleaning wise with the chicken and everything. We'll be done. That little hunk of piece of fat right there can't. I just can't. Okay. All right. I'm going to put y'all back up here. And we're going to put this in the pan. There's plenty of room for all the chicken to have a little piece place to lay plenty of room <clears throat> two in the front two in the back that's that's how we're gonna do that then we're gonna go ahead and rinse this stuff off right here because i am gonna need this cutting board because you're gonna need uh onion as well let me rinse this cutting board out because i do not want to um cross contaminate okay Move this down here a little bit. Let me rinse this off right quick. And when we're ready for it, I'll just grab it again. But we're not really ready for it because onion is going to be the last thing that we do. So, okay, y'all. Let me pull y'all down here. Dry my hands off a little bit, even though I'm just going to wet them back up. Okay, my video turned off, but that's all right. So we know all the seasoning that we have. The only two seasonings that I haven't mixed up in here will be the parsley and the um the parsley and the um paprika. So everything else I mixed up in here to do it this way. To do it like this. Okay. So we just gonna massage this around, flip the bird, you know, flip the bird on the back side, and you're gonna season it just like you did on the other one. 
Okay. I don't want to double dip. I got this touch the chicken. Excuse me, y'all. Okay. So you're going to season both sides. And you're going to rub it in like you did on the other one. Get that chicken rubbed, that season all over that chicken, okay? Don't be ashamed of that chicken. That chicken need love like that. Okay? All right. Now we're going to add in our garlic. Give a couple little dabs on both ends. And you can squeeze it in the middle if you don't want to, you know, do it on the outside. You can always just squeeze the dabs in the middle of the bird. We're going to rub that in. Rub it in, rub it in. Rub it all in. Okay. Just like that. All right. Let's rinse our hands again. Okay. I'm going to open up this paprika. And I just want this for a little color. It's nothing much to do. Just a little color. Little color. Okay, and with the parsley as well, look color. You know, don't be scared of it, don't be scared. All things pretty, and nothing wrong with making things pretty. Okay, y'all see that? I like how they're looking so far. All right. We're going to drizzle this with a little bit of oil. A little bit of olive oil. And then we're going to add a little bit of our dill seasoning in here. Just a little. We're not going to do too much. A couple of drops here and there. Let it flow over the chicken. Just let it flow a little bit over the chicken. Okay. Maybe a couple more drops on this one because I didn't put much on that at all. And this one too. Okay. That's enough of that. And then we're going to add a little vinegar. And you can use this still vinegar. You can use whatever you like. And just put it right on top. Okay. And bam. There you go. All right, now we're going to just put this up here for a second and we're going to cut up our onion right quick. Cut up our onion right quick. Wipe that a little of that up. <clears throat> Let me see. I already had like an onion open. So this is nothing special that you have to do. I'm just going to cut a couple of big rings and I'm going to cut them in half. You do it your way. I'm just going to do it my way. So I got four halves that I got cut up here. And then I'm just going to stuff this right in the middle, right down in the middle. Open it up wide and stick it right on in there, okay? That's all you have to do. But you can cut it up and put yours on top if you want to. I'm just going to take mine and do it like this here. Okay. All right, y'all. And basically, that is all you need to do. We will not be covering this up. We're going to let this sit in the oven 
for 45 minutes then we're gonna come and check and make sure that it's all the way done okay so let's go ahead and put it in the oven at 375 and we will be back to see how this look after these messages I'll be right back okay y'all I'm back we are gonna see what the Cornish hens look like now that they're done so let me get it out the oven right quick oh these little bad babies look good <laughs> Let's see what they look like, y'all. Don't they look good? That's the finishing touches. I cannot wait to eat this. So, y'all, let me see. Can I get it up a little bit? Okay. Maybe that's a good angle. Maybe it's not. But we already know what the thumbnail is going to look like anyway. So anyway, y'all, I want to thank y'all for coming back. I want y'all to like, subscribe, hit that bell button, come back. Um, leave comments down below. Give me some ideas, some things y'all want me to do. And if I can do it, I will try my best to do it for you. Okay? So come back following OMG what? Follow E. OMG who? Follow E. OMG. Yeah. Follow E. Who oh, that be? Hell, that be me. Peace.